जय गुरु दत्ता श्री गुरु दत्ता 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 श्री गणेशाय नम श्री सरस्वतीय नम श्री पादवल्लभ नरसिंह सरस्वती श्री गुरुदत्ताय नम श्री गणपति सच्चिदानंद सद्गुरुभ्यो नमो नम जय गुरुदत्त एंड वेलकम टू दत्ता अर्पणम विथ योर होस्ट ऋषि निर्वन बारू एंड रवीता सिंह जय गुरुदत्त स्वागत एंड थैंक यू फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन टू दत्ता अर्पणम a showcase of the life music and teachings of his holiness parama pujya dr shri 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 ganapati satchidananda swami ji of avadhuta datapitam in mysuru today's program begins with the offering of pranams gratitude and this invocation prayer at the sacred feet of beloved sadguru deva pujya shri swami ji as the show possible only through his divine grace is offered to him please join puja shri bala swami ji now in worship गणेशाय नम श्री सरस्वत नम श्रीपादवल्लभ नरसिंह सरस्वती श्रीगुरदत्तात्रेयाय नम श्रीगणपति सच्चिदानंद सद्गुभ्यो नम गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्री भूयुत श्रीहरिचिताभ्यागस्तरेखाचिताभ्यागूढ़ीजाक्षर मुद्रिताभ्यामो नम सद्गुपादुकाभ्या गणपति गुरु मेक सच्चिदानंद विबुधरी वह सेव्यम योगमागाधिूम शरणुपगताघाद्रिवज्रम मम हृदय निवास भक्ति नम्रो नमा भक्ति नम्रो नमामि Once again everyone swagatam and thank you for tuning in to this morning's edition of Datta Arpanam Today's program is being brought to you through the kind courtesy of Ramlal Educational Institute of number 12 Exchange Lot Scuva Valini's Drug Mart Limited of 58 to 60 Southern Street San Fernando Debe Supermart Limited of 182 SS Aaron Road Debe and Coke Supermart Limited of 14 Naprima Miaro Road San Fernando Over recent weeks as the Dashavatara series has continued on Datta Arpanam the focus on the program has been the story of the churning of the ocean 
a story closely linked to the Kurma Avatara of Lord Vishnu. So far you have heard that when the demons went to war with the Devatas, the struggling Devatas sought help from Lord Brahma, who in turn sought help from Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu instructed that a peace treaty should be declared with the demons and that during that time of peace, the milk ocean should be churned. One product of this would be the nectar of immortality, which would be given to the Devatas, who would then be in a position to defeat the demons. The large mountain Mandara was used as the churning rod, and the snake Vasuki was used as the rope in the churning of the ocean. However, as the heavy mountain was being used in the churning, it sank into the ocean. The Lord himself lifted the mountain and then, taking the form of a giant tortoise, supported the mountain on his back for the churning to resume. He entered the devatas and the demons as their respective energies, and the snake Vasuki as sleep. Manifesting with a form bearing 1000 arms, he stabilized Mount Mandara during the churning. As the vigorous churning continued, the ocean became very turbulent. A terrible poison emerged from it. The Devatas begged Lord Shiva to save them from this poison which was enveloping all three worlds. After obtaining the approval of his consort, Goddess Parvati, Lord Shiva gulped the terrible Hala Hala poison. Today, the story continues. First though, worship is offered to Lord Ganapati. Please open the Bhajan Mala app or visit the website www.bhajanmala.com, enter Bhajan ID number 52 and join Pooja Apaji in singing this beautiful Bhajan composition of his. Gana una ku pati aida, Gana pati dora ku jayam jayam. Gana gana una ku pati aida, Gana pati dora ku jayam jayam. Gana Muna Ku Pati Aina, Gana Pati Dora Ku Jayam Jayam. Gana Pati Dora Ku Jayam Jayam. Ganam 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 Gana Pati Dora Ku Jayam Jayam Gana Gana Muna Ku Pati Aina Gana Pati Dora Ku Jayam Jayam Mula Dha Mujiva Ganam Mula Dhara Mujiva Ganam Swadhishta Namu Sasya Ganam Swadhishta Namu Sasya Ganam Manipura Musam Padala Ganam Manipura Musam Padala Ganam Anagatam Badivayu Ganam Gana Muna Ku Pati Aina Gana Pati Dora Ku Jayam Jayam Gana Gana Muna Ku Pati Aina Gana Pati Dora Ku Jayam Jayam
ಮನಗ ವಿಬುಧಗಣ ಆಜ್ಞಾ ಚಕ್ರಮು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಗಣ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಪದ್ಮು ತತ್ವಗಣ ಿಲಿ ನೇಮಿ ಗಣ ಗಣಗಣ ಮುನ ತೂ ಪತಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಜಯಂ ಆಕಾಶಮಂತೋಕಗಣ ಈ ಗಣಪತಿ ಗಣಮಣಿ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದುನಿ ಗುಣಮಗುಣ ಗಣಗಣ ಮುನ ತೂ ಪತಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಜಯಂ ಗಣಗಣ ಮುನ ತೂ ಪತಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಜಯಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ 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 ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಜಯಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಜಯಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ದೊರಕು ಜಯಂ ಜಯಂ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಆಫರ್ ಒಬೇಸನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದತ್ತ ಅರ್ಪಣಂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಒಫಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಬಿಗಿನ್ Thank you for tuning in to today's offering which is coming to you on 103.1 FM through the grace of Pooja Shri Swami ji and thanks to the sponsorship by Ramlal Educational Institute Debe Supermart Limited Valini's Drug Mart Limited and Kokie Supermart Limited As we prepare for today's contemplation please join in worshiping Nara Narayana Maharishi's goddess saraswati and sage vyasa narayanam namaskritya narancaivanarottamam devim saraswatim vyasam tato jayamudirayet in this morning's recap of the past few episodes of datta arpanam you heard that the milk ocean became extremely turbulent as a result of the churning That whole time Kurumavatara remained in that turbulent ocean. Listeners, as we prepare to later this week celebrate the incarnation of Lord Shri Hari as Shri Krishna, this story of Kurumavatara reminds us of just how compassionate that Lord is. We cannot even begin to imagine how much pain that Lord would have endured. during the churning of the ocean the ocean turned red due to the blood that flowed from his body only he could withstand such intense friction but that high intensity friction was essential for nectar to emerge so the lord out of his abundance of love for his devotees bore it this level of selfless love is also reflected in the actions of sadguru deva parama puja shri swami ji he bears so much for the sake of his devotees 
his biography tells us so many instances when devotees or even those who were not yet devotees were spared injuries or illness because Pooja Sri Swamiji bore it instead. But while these stories are true, we should not expect this of Guru. We should not ask this of Guru. Each of us has come here with a certain karmic burden. The only way to relieve ourselves of this burden is to experience that karma. Simply pray for Sadhguru Deva's blessings to face your karma with strength, faith and courage. And you may think, well, if he took someone else's karma, then why can't he take mine? But this type of thinking assumes that we understand the full details behind Guru's actions. And this is a wrong assumption. Perhaps he knows that a particular individual has a lot of good to do for society still, so their death should be delayed. We may think he is removing their karma, but he may simply be changing the timing of dealing with that karma, so that in the meantime, more meritorious actions can be performed by that person. That person can have an opportunity to build up their punya balance before ultimately facing the consequences of their previous bad actions. As Pooja Apaji has said on the free app SGS Posts, when we expect pardon, we should be prepared for punishment. Otherwise, the karma will never end and it will cause rebirth. Listeners, what we experience today is not anyone else's fault. It is not an indication of a vindictive God. We must take responsibility for our own thoughts, words and actions. These are the true determinants of our future. As Pooja Apaji has taught, we are the architects of our own destiny. But let's say that, to date, someone has led a life of which they are not proud. They have engaged in activities which they regret. Are they destined for never-ending suffering? Well, not necessarily. While yes, we must all face the consequences of our words, thoughts and deeds, apart from facing our bad karma, there is another way that we can reduce our karmic burden. And it is such an easy and enjoyable way to do that. What is that secret tool? It is worship. Chanting God's names and engaging in worship can exhaust your bad karma. But remember something though. Remember Pooja Apaji's words which Rishi shared earlier. When we expect pardon, we should be prepared for punishment. Why bring up those words at this exact moment when we are talking about prayer exhausting bad karma? It is because it is important that we do not engage in prayer because we expect that this will grant us karmic pardons. Pray and praise God out of love, out of gratitude, as an offering to the one who already has everything. Do not pray as a part of some barter. Do not pray with the mentality of, if I pray, God will reduce my karmic burden. Remember what Shloka 9 of Chapter 3 of Srimad Bhagavad Gita teaches us. Yajna thad karma no nyatra, loko yam karma bandhanaha, tadatham karma kaunteya, mukta sangas samachara. In this shloka, Shri Krishna said to Arjuna, to Kaunteya, that actions performed to please God are not binding. In other words, he is saying that such actions do not bind us to the cycle of life and death. The Lord goes on to say, however, that the world gets caught in bondage due to actions performed for other purposes. So, says the Lord, offer all your desire-free actions to God. Listeners, engage in such desire-free worship now as you join Pooja Apaji in bhajan once again. This time, please join him in singing a Devi bhajan, the lyrics to which you can find by entering bhajan ID number 414 on the Bhajanmala app or on the website www.bhajanmala.com. ta 
ಶ್ರೀರಾಜ್ಞೆ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಜತಿ ಸ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಸ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ್ರೀ ಮಾತಾ ಶ್ರೀರಾಜ್ಞೆ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಜತಿ ಸ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಸ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತಾ ಶ್ರೀರಾಜ್ಞೆ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಜತಿ ಸ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಸ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತಾ ಶ್ರೀರಾಜ್ಞೆ ಹೃದಿ ರಾಜತಿ ಸ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಸ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ ಸ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸ 
sadunam di desinya sa sadunam di desinya sa sachidananda kada sa sachidananda kada sa sri mata sri rakne rudi rajati sa sri devi sa sri vidya sa श्री माता श्री राज्य कृति राज श्री देवी सा श्री विद्या सा साधु नाम दी देसिया सा साधु नाम दी देसिया सा सच्चिदानंद सा सच्चिदानंद सा श्री माता श्री राज्य कृति राज श्री देवी सा श्री विद्या सा 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 इन द फर्स्ट चरण ऑफ दैट भजन Mother Goddess is worshipped as Kamakshi. That word has two meanings. One is the destroyer of maya or illusion and the other is the fulfiller of wishes. And this double meaning is really interesting because if our maya or illusion is destroyed, then what other wish could we possibly have? And if she fulfills our wishes, then what wish could be better than destroying our maya or illusion we see that that one name while having two literal translations really translates to one thing she is the grantor of moksha after all when we are rid of the illusion of the self being separate from paramatman is that not the state of liberation You are tuned in to Datta Arpanam which is coming to you on 103.1 FM through the grace of Parama Pooja Shri 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 Ganapati Satchidananda Swami ji and thanks to the sponsorship by Ramlal Educational Institute Debe Supermart Limited Vilini's Drug Mart Limited and Kokie Supermart Limited Special thanks go out to them as they do to you dear listener for sharing this sunday morning sandhya hour with us today you have been hearing of the turmoil endured by the lord as kurma avatara during the churning of the ocean even though innumerable trees and herbs had been thrown into the ocean so that their medicinal properties could be churned a tortoise withdraws its limbs and protects them under its shell Its senses are very sharp and it can gauge human movements in the area. Only when it is absolutely sure of its safety does it once again continue its movement. And this is a lesson for us. In the earlier eons during times of danger, sages used to develop absolute control over their senses, what is known as indriya nigraha. They would sit like immobile rocks. There would be absolutely no bodily movement. More importantly, they would totally withdraw their mind from this world. You see, it is only when the mind and senses wander as they please that a person, be it a man or woman, falls to lowest levels. So, reinforcing the lessons taught by the tortoise incarnation of the Lord and by the sages of past yugas, Pooja Pooja says that it is imperative that we do not give any freedom to the sense organs the moment freedom is given to them downfall is certain the sense organs the eyes ears tongue skin and nose should always be kept under tight control we must in other words learn to live like a tortoise and you may think that well that's how saints and sages live i'm not there yet But it does not have to be complicated. Start small. Take the eyes for example. Do not engage those sense organs in looking at violent TV scenes or obscene or lewd scenes. Then the ears. 
Do not use them to listen to gossip. Do not listen to bad words about others or to disrespectful words about God or Guru. The tongue. Do not use it to taste meat or eggs. The skin. Do not pamper the skin by wearing clothing made by harming another being. So, do not wear leather, for example, or fur even. And the nose. What is the one thing with which we most pamper the nose? It is the smell of highly seasoned food. Onions and garlic, while they add flavor to food, they promote tamasic and rajasic traits respectively. Eating them daily also leads to bad body odor. So do not consume them daily unless the garlic is being used for medicinal purposes. So listeners, while yes, yogis have their sense organs under control and it can take years to get there, as you just heard, we can all start the process of getting the sense organs under control from today. Like every grand goal, if we start small but work diligently at it, success will follow. And as always, when abstaining from a habit is difficult, it can help to bring your mind to a higher altar. Namas and Kirtana offers an easy way to do this. So, everyone, bring your mind to the Lord whose incarnation we will be celebrating this coming Wednesday, Janmashtami Day. Let us worship Sri Krishna. Please open the Bhajanmala app once again. Enter Bhajan ID number 873 and join Pooja Apaji in singing this Bhajan composed by his mother and guru, Mata Jai Lakshmi. The Bhajan says, Having tied ankle bells, holding cymbals in my hand, forgetting myself, I have danced for you, Krishna. You are my relative, my friend, my mother, my father, and you are my God, O Krishna. My life is yours, Krishna. Upon my word, I declare that I have come to find you. I have taken this birth and I have come, but I do not wish to be reborn. I keep shouting slogans of victory for you, Krishna. This bhajan has quite a moving story behind it. It is a story from Pooja Sri Swamiji's childhood. Mata Jaya Lakshmi was in Mekadatu at the time. Her father, Lingana, had left Mekadatu to go get food from the nearby city, Kanakapura. It was during a time of famine. Mata Jaya Lakshmi held young Satya Narayana, a then three-year-old child, and sang with devotion the praises of Sri Krishna. Lingana, Puja Apaji's grandfather, had gone across the river Arkavati, but the river was very unpredictable. Mata Jaya Lakshmi could not cross the river while holding this young child. There was no boat. They could only wade across the water. Elephants were approaching and were trumpeting wildly. It was only Lingana's farm which was left undisturbed by the animals which were on a rampage. A herd of elephants came, led by their leader. But they surprisingly remained quiet. Mata Jaya Lakshmi saw this and the child, Satya Narayana, also saw this. Amma embraced the child tightly and sang this bhajan. Now listeners, you too can sing this bhajan, so please do. Once again, the bhajan ID number is 873. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna. Kali Kali <laughs> 
ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದುವರಿಯ ದೇವನೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಒಂದುವರಿಯ ದೇವನೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಒಂದು ಅರಿಯ ದೇವನೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಒಂದು ಅರಿಯ ದೇವನೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳ ಗಿಡಿ ಮೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಬರೆದು ಗುಡಿದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳ ಗಿಡಿ ಮೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಬರೆದು ಗುಡಿದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಾಣವೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಾಣವೆಲ್ಲ ಕಾಣ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ನಿನ್ನ ಕಾಣ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಪ್ರಾಣವೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಾಣವೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾಣವೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾಳೆ ಎಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಾಣ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ನಿನ್ನ ಕಾಣ ಬಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಕಾಲಿ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳ ಗಿಡಿದು ಮೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳ ಗಿಡಿದು ಮೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜನ್ಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಲಕ್ಕಿ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜನ್ಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಲಕ್ಕಿ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಲಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಲಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಲಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಲಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಯದ ಕೂಗು ಕೂಗಿ ಕೊಂಡೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಯದ ಕೂಗು ಕೂಗಿ ಕೊಂಡೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜನ್ಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜನ್ಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬಂದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಲಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಲಾರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಯದ ಕೂಗು ಕೂಗಿ ಕೊಂಡೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಯದ ಕೂಗು ಕೂಗಿ ಕೊಂಡೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಳಗಿದು ಕೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕುಡಿದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅರೆ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಳಗಿದು ಕೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕುಡಿದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳಗಿಡು ಮನೆಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳಗಿಡು ಮನೆಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳಗಿಡು ಮನೆಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳಗಿಡು ಮನೆಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲಿಗೆ ಗೆಜ್ಜೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಾಳಗಿಡು ಮೈಯೆಲ್ಲ ಮರೆತು ಕೊಡುವೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲ ಜಯ ಗೋವಿಂದ ರಾಮ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಜೈ ಜೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ What a beautiful, moving tribute to Shri Krishna Paramatma. You were just listening to Parama Pooja Shri 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 Ganapati Satchidananda Swamiji as he rendered that bhajan composed by his mother and guru, Mata Jayalakshmi. Thank you for tuning in to Datta Arpanam, which is coming to you on 103.1 FM through the grace of Pooja Shri Swamiji. and thanks to the sponsorship by Ramlal Educational Institute, Debe Supermart Limited, Vellini's Drug Mart Limited, and Kokie Supermart Limited. Today, in the lead-up to Janmashtami 2023, we celebrate another incarnation of Lord Vishnu, Kurma Avatara, as we contemplate upon the story of the churning of the ocean. Listeners, the story of Kurma Avatara is particularly endearing. Can you imagine the plight of Sri Krishna Paramatma, who, in the form of a tortoise, endured the intense friction caused by the rapid movement of the mountain against his back? We know from Mother Yashoda that that lord has a very delicate back. While describing the back of her son, Krishna, she had said, Oh, what a tender, delicate back Krishna has. 
So what suffering he must have undergone when there was this gigantic mountain placed upon that delicate back of his. Imagine what pain that Lord, that embodiment of compassion, imagine what he endured at that time, all for the sake of his devotees. And it wasn't only Lord Narayana in the form of Kurma Avatara who suffered. The poison which emerged from the ocean during the churning had a severe impact upon Lord Shiva. Due to the poison, his neck turned blue-black. It is said that Mother Goddess Parvati held the Lord's neck to prevent the poison from flowing into his body. As a result of this poison, a line formed on Lord Shiva's neck. He became known as Nila Kanta, Nila meaning blue and Kanta meaning neck. By drinking the poison, Lord Shiva established and protected the dharma pertaining to this world. The devatas and demons were extremely pleased when Lord Shiva drank the poison. With renewed enthusiasm, they once again continued to churn the ocean. True to the prophecy of Lord Sri Hari, as they churned, they saw things emerging from the ocean. First, a wish-fulfilling cow, Kamadhenu, emerged. She was the holy mother cow. To perform yajnas which bestow the most supreme satya loka and to perform daily homa rituals, offering oblations is a must. Kama Dhenu, the holy mother cow, produces milk from which these ingredients that are used as oblations in the homa fire are obtained. Because of this, elders ask us to protect cows. Cows shower us with nectar. So how can we drink the nectar they give and then kill them? It is heart-wrenching. Most Hindus accept this and avoid consuming beef. But listeners, do you know that the leather industry also survives by killing cows to make leather from the hide of the cow? When you buy leather products, so leather belts, leather shoes, leather handbags, leather wallets, leather couches, or leather seats for your car, you are giving strength to an industry which thrives on killing cows. So please do not use leather products, and of course do not eat beef or veal, which is the meat of a baby cow. After Kamadhenu emerged, a great horse called Uchai Shrava emerged from the ocean. He glowed like the resplendent full moon. Then a great elephant called Airavata was born from the ocean. It had four beautifully gleaming white tusks which appeared to outshine the beauty of Mount Kailasa, the residence of Lord Shiva. Next emerged the gleaming Kaustubha gem which Lord Sri Hari, the Lord of all Lords, felt would be a wonderful decoration on his chest, so he took that gem. Then came the Kalpa Vriksha, the wish-fulfilling tree, which would decorate the residence of the Devatas. This tree fulfills the desires of everyone at any point in time. The celestial damsels known as Apsarasas then emerged from the ocean. Golden ornaments adorned their necks and they were dressed with fine delicate clothing. With their gentle gait and charming gazes, these damsels shower happiness upon the inhabitants of heaven. Mother Goddess Lakshmi was the next one to emerge from the ocean. Her divine radiance surpassed even dazzling lightning. She was filled with feelings of love towards the Supreme Lord Sri Hari and was eager to please him. Her beauty, her glories, her generosity, her complexion, attractive features and youthfulness captivated the minds of one and all. Lord Indra immediately brought an exquisite seat for her to sit. All the sacred rivers took a form and, in golden pots, brought water for her Abhishekam. Mother Earth supplied all the herbs and medicinal plants used for the Abhishekam. Cows supplied the Panchagavya or the five ingredients of milk, curd, ghee, cow's urine and cow dung. Spring season or Vasanta supplied all the flowers and fruits. 
Maharishis arranged all the paraphernalia essential for performing the Abhishekam. Celestials such as Gandharvas sang auspicious songs and hymns. Professional dancers sang and danced. Mother Goddess Lakshmi, who emerged from the ocean, held a lotus flower garland in her hand and began to walk. The bees encircling the lotus flower garland were buzzing melodiously. The Divine Mother thought of seeking shelter in a husband who is absolutely faultless, filled with good traits and who is eternal. She carefully scrutinized all the Gandharvas, Yakshas, Siddhas, Devatas and the Charanas, but she failed to locate the ideal one who had all the qualities which she was looking for. She realized that only Sri Hari possessed all the qualities she desired, but she thought, he does not desire me. Listeners, we will hear the rest of this subplot next week on Datta Arpanam. What will Goddess Lakshmi do and what will Lord Shri Hari do? Be sure to tune in to 103.1 FM next Sunday at 6 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time when Datta Arpanam will be back along with the answers to those questions. Now, before beginning to wrap up today's episode, let us once again join in offering worship. As you probably know, this coming Wednesday, we celebrate the incarnation of Lord Sri Hari as Sri Krishna. Let us join then in chanting Achyutashtakam. You can find the words to this divine stotra by entering stotra ID number 7298 on the Bhajan Mala app or on the website www.bhajanmala.com. Once again, the Stotra ID number is 7298. <laughs> Janaki Nayakam Ramachandram Baje Achutam Keshavam Ramanarayanam Krishna Damodaram Vasudevam Harim Keshavam Satya Bhamadavam Madavam Sridharam Radhika Radhitam Indira Mandira Chetasa Sundaram Devaki Nandanam Nandajam Sandade Achutam Keshavam Ramanarayanam Krishna Damodaram Vasudevam Harim Shankine, Chakrine, Rukmini, Ragine, Janaki, Janaye, Wallavi, Wallama, Yarchita, Yatmane, Kamsave, Pumsine, Pumsine, Tenama, Achutam, Keshavam, Ramana, Rayam, Krishna, Damodaram, Vasudevam, Harim. Krishna 
ಗೋವಿಂದಗೆ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಶ್ರೀಪತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಜಿತೆ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧೆ ಅಚ್ಯುತಾನಂತ ಹೇ ಮಾಧವ ರೋಕ್ಷಜ ದ್ವಾರಕ ನಾಯಕ ದ್ರೌಪದಿ ರಕ್ಷಕ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಹರಿ ರಾಕ್ಷಸ ಕ್ಷೋಭಿತ ಶೀತಯ ಶೋಭಿತ ದಂಡಕಾರಣ್ಯ ಭೂ ಪುಣ್ಯತ ಕಾರಣ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣೇನಾನ್ವಿತ ವಾನರೈ ಸೇವಿತ ಅಗಸ್ಯ ಸಂಪೂಜಿತ ರಾಘವ ಪಾತು ಮಾಂ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಕೇಶವ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಹರಿ ಶೋಘರಿರ್ಜಾಯ ಅಚ್ಯ 
ಅಚ್ಯುತಂ ಕೇಶವಂ ರಾಮನಾರಾಯಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಮೋದರ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಹರಿ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಹರಿ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಹರಿ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಹರಿ Happy Janmashtami everyone. May the blessings of Shri Krishna be with each and every one of you. And with that, we begin to wrap up today's episode of Datta Arpanam. Pranams and gratitude are offered at the divine feet of beloved Sadguru Deva Parama Pooja Shri 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 Ganapati Satchidananda Swami ji and Pooja Shri 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 Datta Vijayananda Tirtha Swami ji. without whose teachings compassion love guidance and music this program would not exist pranams to you puja appa ji and shri bala swami ji kindly forgive any errors which may have been committed in preparing or in sharing today's episode of datta arpanam and please guide us to avoid such errors in the future special thanks are extended to the staff at 103.1 fm and to the sponsors of Datta Arpanam Ramlal Educational Institute Debe Supermart Limited Valini's Drug Mart Limited and Kokie Supermart Limited and of course dear listener an extra special thank you is extended to you for sharing your sunday morning with us Remember if you would like to listen to today's offering again the podcast will be uploaded to 103.1 FM's website by tomorrow evening simply visit www.103fm.tt click on podcasts and scroll down to datta arpanam alternatively you can also access the link via the datta arpanam facebook page once again everyone thank you for tuning in today You are invited to please tune in to 103.1 FM again next Sunday at 6 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time for another episode of Datta Arpanam, a showcase of the life, music and teachings of His Holiness Parama Pooja Shri 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 Ganapati Satchidananda Swami Ji. Jai Guru Datta. Shri Guru Datta. Hari Hi Om Tat Sat. ಪಾಂಡುರಂಗ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಪಾಡಣ ಒಂದು ಮಟ್ಟ ಪಾಡಿಂಡಪ್ಪ ವಿಠಲ 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 ಪಾಂಡುರಂಗ 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 ವಿಠಲ 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 ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್